everyone, Kim here at Abundant Life Tarot. I hope you all are doing well. I just wanted to do a quick video just letting you know what I'm up to, what I'm working on, and what I hope that you will come and join me um, on some of the things that I've got cooking up for Poised to Leap and Abundant Life Tarot Academy. So let's get into it. following me on Kofi. It is free to do so and you don't have to have a membership or you don't have to make any sorts of payments just to follow me. Here's why. I do a Monday weekly blog where I put up um, some inspirational words. Um, I get put a tarot and oracle card activity and now I've recently started putting up a mindfulness activity in those blogs. And so it's a great way to start your week. I try to put it out in the morning ahead of your, you know, your commute. Uh, so maybe you want to drink your coffee um, and then read it and be inspired for the week. You'll have a little homework assignment and it's all free. Another great thing about following me on Kofi is I'm always putting um, updates on there. Whether I am hosting an event within the membership, the Poise to Leap membership, um, there could be some standalone workshops or video series. Lately, I've been really cranking out video series to help you um, deepen your tarot reading practice, or maybe you are wanting to start a spiritual based business, or you want to get on the hotlines. I'm continuously adding. Uh, video series courses in my Kofi shop and you don't have to be a monthly member to um, to participate in those activities you can also join the membership and start and stop any time and have access to all the content that I have exclusive to my membership I have almost 300 videos that are exclusive to just the Poise to Leap membership and to the video series that I put out there's more to come. I have a whole list of courses that I think would be very important. One um, is about a 2024 edition of insuring your spiritual business, um, some insurance company recommendations, and some considerations on insuring your business. Um, there's all sorts of tools. Another a video series I'm excited about that's coming out is working with your ancestors. Um, there's the Learn the Swords uh, video series that will be coming out very soon. This like probably in the next week. And next month we'll be doing Learn the Pentacles. So we'll have all four suits covered. So you can purchase that standalone and have unlimited access um, to the videos or you can join the membership. So yeah, I, you know, we've got a lot going on over there. And another thing that I want to um, share with you is what's coming up this Sunday on August 11th. We are going to be working on our elevator statement, our elevator pitch, but with a spiritual slant. Whether you want to have a spiritual elevator statement about what it is you practice, what it is you do, what it is you offer, we're going to use cards or other divinatory tools to help us create a succinct message that allows us to stand in our power and stand with authority to say what it is that we do and what it is we offer. Many times I find that the people that I mentor who are starting out on their spiritual journey or starting their spiritual business, they have a hard time being able to sum up in a succinct and powerful way of what it is they are doing, what it is they're studying, or what it is they're offering. And they're, they you know, get lost in their words when they're trying to convey to people what it is that they're doing. We are not doctors or lawyers. We are healers and tarot readers and psychics and mediums and Reiki masters. And it can be a little daunting to try to say what it is we do and what we're passionate about in a short statement, a short but powerful statement. 
So we're going to be working on that this Sunday and you will be able to catch the replay if you can't join us. That's one of the perks of the membership. And then at the end of the month, our members are getting together for our monthly reading lab. We always get together every last Saturday of the month. And this reading lab's topic is going to be color and the tarot. I'm super excited about this. I will link in the description box a video I did a couple of years back using the Antique Anatomy Tarot as inspiration for that discussion about how color informs the meanings, informs our interpretations in the cards. So if you've always been curious about how does color impact a meaning, does it have any influence at all in your readings? You would want to check that out. And again, that will be available for replay if you can't make the actual live session. Um, and I also have a tier, the lowest tier in my membership that discusses, uh, or not discusses, what am I saying? I, um, that if you are just, you know, like, I don't need to be a part of the Zoom meeting. I just want to catch the replay because I know Kim's going to have a lesson and she's going to have exercises for me to do. I'll just catch the replay. The lowest tier that is offered is um, available and you can just catch all the Reading Lab replays. And many of the exclusive content videos and replays of other meetings and workshops, you'll have access to all of that. So there's a lot. And, and when you're looking at the you know, Smith weight deck here, you can see there, there's, there's a lot of color going on here, right? You can see that it's, what is it telling us? What is the mood? What is the significance of that particular color? The red, the, the color of the sky, what is it telling us? And then when you're looking at, you know, when you're looking at say a pip deck, such as the antique anatomy tarot, what is the significance here with this poppy, right? This, you know, what's, what is it telling us here? That yellow, the green, the white, what can it illuminate for us in readings? And it's important to pay attention to color in tarot because um, it, a lot of times the artist or the cre the deck creator is inspired and that inspiration is tapped into their intuition and then we can tap into that and it can help us unlock certain bits of meaning in the readings and it can tell a story especially if you're using a pip deck when you're using pip decks um, especially if it's a it's got color in it you're looking at numerology you're looking at astrological associations you are looking at color as amongst many other things you could look at with a pip deck so we're going to be doing that at the at the oh it's august 31st 2024 and i hope you join i hope you join the membership and um, we're going to have a good time I'm trying to see checking my notes is there anything else uh, in terms of abundant life to row the channel um we're still trucking along there will be um some more Mystery Mystic Monday videos coming out. So stay tuned for that. I am doing more collaborations either here on the channel or at other uh, peeps channels. I love visiting people's channels. If you would love to collaborate with me, I'm probably going to want to love to collaborate with you. So, you know, drop me a line. Email me at AbundantLifeTarot at gmail.com. Or you can leave a comment and then we can make arrangements later to get together. I'm not shy when it comes to joining um, someone else's channel. And lately I've been really working with my Poise Elite members uh, because that's a great starting point. We all, pretty, most of us have channels, so it's it makes it easy. So if you are also wanting to grow, you know, grow your uh, social media presence, especially on YouTube, you can consider joining Poise to Leap as well. I want to support you in your endeavors. Poise to Leap is something that's near and dear to my heart because people kept asking me 
to mentor them, to help them learn how to work with the cards, and most importantly, to help them start to read professionally, finding different avenues of how to read professionally. So I created this membership off of Kofi. I didn't want to create it off of Patreon or even here on YouTube. I wanted it to be its own standalone function. Sometimes I'm in the mood to do content creation on YouTube and sometimes I'm not. So I didn't feel like I was at a place or a space yet to be doing YouTube memberships because I didn't know how consistent I could be. I'm still thinking about how I can do memberships here on the channel. If you all have some ideas, you know, and I wouldn't make it exorbitantly expensive at all. You know, just something if you want to support the channel and I, something I could do for you. For example, an idea could be um, we get together and just have a good time. I throw a card, I pull a card or two for members, um, YouTube channel members, um, and we just have a good time once or twice a month. Maybe, you know, nothing too major. I don't, you know, want to overwhelm us. Um, or maybe we do some true crime readings over there, something, you know, that's related to the Mystery Mystic series. I'm curious to hear what you would, you would want. And that way I would be able to maybe show some things that are not necessarily or talk about topics that are not necessarily appropriate for the general public, right? So I'm curious to hear what you would think if there's any need for it at all. But Poise to Leap is my baby and um, it is where I house a lot of the, the information on learning cards. Some people are like, I want to learn how to do mystery mystic readings. For me, I feel like what's most important is you having the strong fundamentals of cardamancy, of reading the cards. And then you really, if you're called to do those types of readings, you can do them. And maybe we, you know, learn and grow and tarot on mystery mystic type readings with a channel membership, low cost, low key, you know, something like that. I haven't decided yet and I'm keeping... I'm keeping it an open mind to it. But yeah, you you know, I'm always willing to teach people how to do those types of readings, but really it I feel like it's it's part calling and part practice and you know, you just you got to it's one of those types of readings you just have to be really passionate about because it can be very taxing, you know. So so there's that. But yeah, that's what's going on. I just realized I was like, it's been a while since I just did a quick touch base on what we've got going on. Last but not least, Poise to Leap, um, the higher tiers, the Cosmic Seer and the Rebel Souls Seers or tiers, can't talk. Those are open between August 1st and August 31st and then I'll be closing it again. This is like an um, open window of time for those who want to work with me more closely. So it is low cost. You can start and stop anytime. You, you know, you can work with me at the Cosmic Seer level, which is lower, um, a lower monthly amount. And you would work with me every other month one on one. Plus, you have access to all the group meetings. If you want to do the Rebel Soul level, that is meeting with me once a month for an hour, one-on-one, -on -one, as well as access to the group meetings and exclusive content. And I always listen to my members on ideas for future content to create for them. So um, it's a short window of time. I keep a very small group of those who I work with one-on-one -on -one because I don't want to stretch myself too thin. I do professional client readings throughout the week. And so, you know, I have to make sure that I'm not spreading myself too thin. So I just wanted to put that out there because once September 1st comes, I'm closing it down and then we'll, re we'll do a open enrollment at some other point in the future. All right, friends. Okay, that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching. Take very good care of yourselves. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.